Okay, here's a relative motion example. Let's say that we've got two cars which are traveling relative to the road at the speeds given. One is going 20 meters per second to the right, the other is going 90 meters per second to the left. 90 meters per second to the left. Now, in order to make this so that we're not working with teeny tiny little differences, I'm just going to change the speed of light, right? So we could have made these two spaceships going at 2 times 10 to the 8th meters per second and, you know, 2.5 times 10 to the meters, 8th meters per second. But instead, let's just go ahead and say um, that, oh my goodness, what happened? Oh, hold on. Okay, here we go. So if, uh, let's just make the speed of light low compared to the cars so that we can see the relativistic effects. So let's say C is 100 meters per second. So we're not losing any generality here. We're just making the speed of light low so we can see the relativistic effects. Um, what is the speed of car two relative to car one? Let's just see how to do this problem. That's what's important is how to do this problem. Well, so we've got to have our frames of reference. Let's say that my initial frame of reference, right, the one which I'm looking at, the O frame, is the roads frame. Right? And I want to know what the speed of car 2 is relative to car 1, relative to the frame of reference of the car 1, so O prime is going to be car 1. So I can talk about um, the velocity of car 1, but that's the, the velocity of the O prime frame. Right? So V is equal to plus 20 meters per second, because that frame moves to the right at 20 meters per second. I can talk about the velocity of car 2 in the unprimed frame, and that is minus 90 meters per second because it's moving to the left um, in relative to the road at 90 meters per second. So what I want to know is what is the speed of car 2 relative to car 1? Well, that is u2 prime. I want to know what u2 prime is. In a Galilean transformation, can you see, it would be minus 110 meters per second. But the speed of light is 100 meters per second. Actually, you know, we've said before, that's the speed limit. So the correct transformation, the Lorentz transformation, is gonna give, should give us something less than the speed of light. So let's go ahead and see, this is a one-dimensional transformation. So we can say, ah, okay, u2 prime is equal to u2 minus v over 1 minus... So we get uh, u2 minus v, 1 minus v over c squared times u2. And so we can go ahead and you can see that on, you know, the hard part was um, just determining which variable is which. You can see that just looking at the top of this fraction, that um, that's the Galilean transformation. That's what would give us 110. Oh, well, let's go ahead and plug in. So we've got U2, which is minus 90. I'll leave off the units um, first, just so you can read it more clearly. V minus V, which is V is positive 20. And so on top, we would have the minus 110. But that's going to be divided by, whoops, not a plus. That's going to be divided by some number which better be bigger than 1 because the maximum C can be is 100 meters per second here. Um, so V over, whoops, V is 20 squared over C, which is, ah, not 20 squared. 20 over 100 squared times minus 90. Got to carry those signs, right? U2 is minus 90. And that sign is really important because without the negative sign, the bottom wouldn't be greater than 1. And this, the answer wouldn't make sense. You'd get a speed faster than the speed of light. Okay, so go ahead and plug those numbers into your calculator and you get that the velocity of U2 relative to car 1, oh, sorry, the velocity of car 2 relative to car 1 is minus 93.2 meters per second. Interesting. So that's the relativistic velocity. And that's the correct velocity, right? So, so it's not going 110 if you are in car one. The car coming at you is going 90 miles an hour relative to the road, but it's only going 93 miles an hour relative to you. It's not going 110 miles an hour relative to you, or meters per second. And you say, but why? And that's the way relativity works. We proved it. We showed it. And it's correct.